Hey everyone, welcome. I know that cracking neat is a huge accomplishment and you're probably excited and maybe a little overwhelmed about what comes next. That's where neat counselling comes in. It's how you translate your neat score into a seat at a medical college. Think of this video as your roadmap to navigating the entire neat counselling process. We'll break down each step in a way that's easy to understand. Whether you're already familiar with counselling or this is your first time going through it, We'll cover everything from the initial registration and filling in your college preferences to understanding seat allotment and the all-important document verification stage. Keep in mind that we're here to empower you with knowledge. We'll provide clear explanations, but it's crucial to refer to the official websites of the Medical Counselling Committee, MCC, and your respective state counselling authorities for the most up-to-date information and deadlines. All right, let's start with the foundation registration. Just like signing up for any important online process, you'll need to create an account on the MCC website. Head over to the official MCC website and look for the NEAT counseling registration link. You'll need to have your NEAT roll number handy along with some basic personal information. Think of it like creating a profile. You'll use this account throughout the counseling process. One thing to remember, accuracy is key. Double-check all the details you enter during registration to avoid any hiccups down the line. Once you've filled in everything and reviewed it, submit your registration. You'll likely receive a confirmation email or SMS, so keep an eye out for that. That's it for registration. Pretty straightforward, right? Now that you're officially in the system, let's move on to the next step. With registration complete, the next step involves a little bit of finance paying your counselling fees. Don't worry, it's not as daunting as it sounds. The MCC charges a non-refundable registration fee, which basically covers the administrative costs of the counselling process. You'll also need to pay a refundable security deposit. This deposit is like a placeholder to confirm your participation in the seat allotment process. Both of these fees are usually payable online. You'll find various payment options on the MCC website, such as debit cards, credit cards or net banking, Choose the method that's most convenient for you. Once the payment is successful, make sure to download and save the fee receipt. This receipt serves as proof of payment and might be required later. And that's it for the payment. Remember, the security deposit is refundable under certain conditions, which we'll discuss in a later chapter. For now, let's move on to the exciting part, choosing your dream colleges. This is where things get strategic and exciting. Choice filling is your opportunity to tell the MCC which colleges and courses you're aiming for. After logging into your account on the MCC website, you'll find the choice filling option. Here you'll see a list of participating medical colleges and the courses they offer. Now it's time to do your research. Explore the colleges, their specializations, faculty, infrastructure, and anything else that matters to you. Rank them in order of your preference. Remember, you can fill in as many choices as you want. Don't be afraid to aim high and include your dream colleges, but also be realistic and include some backup options. Once you've finalized your list, lock your choices before the deadline. This is super important. Unlocked choices won't be considered for seat allotment. After the choice filling deadline, the MCC will run its seat allotment process. This process matches your NEAT rank and preferences with the available seats in different colleges. The allotment process usually takes place in multiple rounds. This gives you several chances to secure a seat. Keep an eye on the MCC website for the seat allotment schedule. On the designated date, you can log into your account to check the results. If you're allotted a seat, congratulations, you'll receive an allotment letter which is a provisional offer of admission. But what if you don't get your desired college in the first round? Don't worry, you can participate in subsequent rounds and you might get a better seat based on your rank, preferences and seat availability. So, you've checked the seat allotment result and you've been allotted a seat in a medical college. That's fantastic news! Now what's next? First things first, download your allotment letter from the MCC website. This letter is your ticket to the next stage of the admission process. The allotment letter will contain instructions on reporting to the allotted college. 
make sure to read these instructions carefully. Typically, you'll have a specific time frame to report to the college with all the required documents. This is where the document verification process comes in. Document verification is a crucial step in the NEAT counselling process. It ensures that all the information you provided is accurate and that you meet the eligibility criteria for admission. Before heading to the allotted college for reporting, gather all the necessary documents. These usually include your NEAT admit card, NEAT scorecard, class 10 and 12 mark sheets, category certificate, if applicable, and other relevant documents as specified by the MCC and the college. Make sure you have both original documents and photocopies. The college will verify your original documents and keep the photocopies for their records. During document verification, pay close attention to the instructions given by the college authorities. Any discrepancy in documents or information could lead to complications. You've been allotted a seat and you've even completed document verification. But what if you're not entirely satisfied with the allotted college? Or what if you've changed your mind about pursuing MBBS? Don't worry, the MCC understands that plans can change and they provide options for upgradation and withdrawal. Upgradation allows you to try for a better seat in subsequent allotment rounds while holding on to your current allotted seat. If you get upgraded, your previous allotment will be cancelled. Withdrawal, on the other hand, means withdrawing from the entire counselling process. There are specific deadlines and guidelines for withdrawal, so make sure to familiarise yourself with those. While the MCC handles the All India Quota, AIQ counselling, remember that 85% of MBBS seats in government medical colleges are reserved for state quota seats. Each state conducts its own counselling process for these state quota seats. The eligibility criteria, application process and deadlines will vary from state to state. It's essential to keep an eye on the official websites of your respective state counselling authorities. Look for notifications, brochures and important updates related to the counselling schedule and guidelines. Just like the AIQ counselling you'll likely need to register, fill in your choices of colleges within the state and participate in the seat allotment process. Remember the security deposit you paid during the initial registration process? The good news is that it's refundable under certain conditions. If you're not allotted any seat in any of the allotment rounds, your security deposit will be refunded. Similarly, if you withdraw from the counselling process within the specified deadline and as per the MCC guidelines, you're eligible for a refund. However, if you're allotted a seat and choose not to join the college or withdraw after the designated deadline, you might forfeit your security deposit. The refund process is usually automatic. The MCC will initiate the refund to the same account you used for making the payment. It's always a good idea to check the MCC website for the most up-to-date information on the refund policy and timeline. And that brings us to the end of our comprehensive guide to NEAT Counselling 2024. I hope you found this video helpful. Remember, the counselling process might seem complex, but with the right information and a clear understanding of each step, you can navigate it smoothly. Make sure to stay updated on all the official notifications, deadlines and guidelines from the MCC and your respective state counselling authorities. Check their websites regularly and don't hesitate to reach out to them if you have any doubts or queries. Best of luck with your neat counselling journey. I have no doubt that you all have bright futures ahead of you in the world of medicine.